It's beautiful outside. I just put the leftover lasagna in the fridge and these two have been going up this pan ever since. <laughs> They're obsessed. Oh, I feel good today. I've got therapy at 10 and I've got the right time this time, so that's good. Um, I feel like I've made some progress. My writing in my planner is really helpful. Um, just having some kind of structure is just, it's just really, it's really working for me and I'm really enjoying it and I'm enjoying the fact that I've started to sort of create a whole new little life here. Um, yesterday I managed to have a chat with, um, my family member who's, um, who's been struggling really badly recently and it's been really affecting my life. Um, not because, I don't want to, I sound like a narcissist, don't I? Not because it's all me, me, me. It's not like that at all. Um, what it is, is that if someone, I'm suffering badly from anxiety, right? With like, you know, I have been for some time. And, um... If you then get somebody else that's then having a bit of a mental health crisis and shove them in the mix, it really does make for a difficult time. And so literally, I, literally I was like, I can't go on like this. I need to be able to sit down and talk. So I done that yesterday, sat down, explained how I was feeling, explained what I felt was going on um with them and they confirmed that i'm absolutely right that that there has they have been struggling and there has been um you know like some mental health issues there and would you know like come to like some kind of middle ground that it would be right for them to go and seek medical advice at this stage and you know, we're going to be able to have more talks now, which will, that initial thing, that initial talk about it, it's so awkward, but it so shouldn't be, this is what I really want to get out there, it shouldn't be, it doesn't matter whether you're male, female, kids, adult, old, young, it doesn't matter, if you're suffering from mental health issues, you should, you talk to someone, please do, it's easier than you think. I've put this off for weeks and weeks, not doing it because I've been like, oh, I don't want to offend them. I don't want to push them over the edge. I don't want to make them feel bad. I don't want to make them feel how I feel, you know? I don't want anyone to go through that. But speaking about it, it opened up like, I don't know, it opened up like a can of fresh air. It was just lovely to be able to speak about it and just say, look, this is what I think's going on and this is how it's affecting me and other people, not just me, but I want you to be okay. And so, you know, I want, I want you to be okay. And I, you know, obviously I'm struggling myself at the moment, but I'll do anything that I can to help you be okay. And it's, you know, it's, it's like difficult, it's a difficult conversation to have, it really is, and um, yeah, it's been, it's been tough, but I feel really good that I've done that, and that I, I managed to have that, that conversation, and get that ball rolling, and now I feel really good about it, I feel good, I'm feeling really good about it. Can I say I feel good anymore? I, d I d really do, though. I feel really, really good about it. I can't stop. My gosh, this is so stupid. Um, I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> Part of me just wanted to say it again then, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, so I've done that, and that's, that's you know, that's a good thing. I said good again. Stop. And <laughs> I'm just going to call this this vlog good, I think. Um, <laughs> so yeah, today I'm going to, I'm going to do some washing. I am going to get the hoover out and hoover downstairs because there is 
fluff everywhere because the cats they get their like summer coat this year's been really weird they normally get like their summer coats with all things out so they all start molting everywhere and I, I clean it and then right before the winter they molt again <laughs> and then they grow it all back and they're all like big poofy cats I call them pom-poms pom-poms in the winter why have I got a shadow there oh that's my arm um I don't know if I had a big beard didn't I <laughs> I, I have got a beard. Um, <laughs> you grow these things when you get older. You get like extra facial hair. It's just the worst thing in the world. I don't even know why I'm talking about this on YouTube, but it's true. And I'm a realist, let's face it. Oh, it's not fun. I need that laser treatment, but it's the least of my worries. So I'll just do what I'm normally doing. Just like, you know, wax it out or <laughs> put it out. I don't with tweezers it's it's just like the worst thing in the world anyway i don't know why i started talking about facial hair it's just so stupid um <laughs> i just feel i just feel all right today and it, it's it's a good thing so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go and get this shower done because i'm waffling and i've been waffling for five minutes um yeah i'll speak to you in a bit i forgot to tell you downstairs I had this like epiphany this morning. It wasn't really an epiphany. I was just like, I was thinking about my Etsy shop and um, I pretty much, I um, I love doing my dolls, but they can be expensive to make. And especially in a situation I'm in at the moment and I'm waiting for like another one to sell. So um, although one's sold, so I'll probably get another kit. I've still got like, I've still got to like think outside of the box. So I was like, it's near the autumn, and so I'm going to buy myself some orange and brown wool, and I'm going to buy myself some red and white wool, and I'm going to start to knit. That I really need to start vlogging with this, with this hand, so that I don't have that beardy shadow. Um, I'm going to start to knit um, pumpkins, knitted pumpkins for Halloween. And I'm going to do some baby hats because I've found some that are so cute. I've found some little Halloweeny ones that have like got little um, cat ears on them and like one that's like a little pumpkin and, and stuff like that. Well, I think they're so cute and they're so quick and easy to make. So I'm going to make a few of them and I'm going to make some pumpkins and I'm going to do some like Christmas ornaments. And I'm going to put them on my Etsy shop because I think that people will like them because I do and I've got this thing that if I like it I think other people will like it and I have to like what I'm making do you see what I mean because if I don't believe in it then I don't think anyone else is going to and that's kind of how I feel about it yeah so I just thought I'd let you know that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put some knitted stuff on my Etsy I did actually put in the description that I make dolls but um I also enjoy knitting and I might add knitted stuff periodically but I wasn't sure how much I was going to do knitted stuff. But while I'm waiting for this other one to sell and I'm waiting for the new kit to turn up, I might as well just get on with it so that I'm doing something. Okay, don't laugh, but I'm having a crisis. And um, it's a really stupid one, typical me. I uh, just put the washing on a little while ago. I had therapy in between. So I put the washing on before I'd done the therapy. And I'm sitting there doing therapy and the washing machine's like, because I'm at the table, the washing machine's going round like right next to me like this. And I noticed in the window, there was a massive spider going round with the washing like this. And I was like, that must have been in the laundry basket. And I've just put it in the washing. Ugh. Anyway, um, there's nothing I can do. The washing was on, right? So the washing's going round and the washing is now finished. And there is one of these spider's legs in the door. So now I can't get the washing out. I can't touch it. What am I going to do? I have to wait. I have to wait till my husband comes home, and I? And he's going to have to get the washing out. And he's going to laugh. Well, he'll think I'm an idiot. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? My, wash, my washing machine. There's, there's, the spider's probably dead because if it isn't, it's missing a leg. But what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's like my washing machine, my washing's being held hostage by a potentially dead spider. I can't, that's the third one in a week that I've seen. There was one by the front door the other day, a great big one, and I thought it was dead and put, and my husband, he went to touch it, 
and the thing opened up like that and started moving. And then there was another one where I was sitting there with the chair up watching my Downton Abbey movie. And this thing was so big, I thought the cat had run under my, underneath my chair. And then it ran back when I moved and it went under the other sofa and I was like frozen. I was like, oh my God, I'm frozen. I can't. Oh my God, what the heck am I going to do? My my washing's stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> well, this is funnier than normal, so it's good. I'm going to sit and I'm going to, because I've got my Bible out, I'm going to sit and I'm going to read my Bible for today. And um, I'm going to try not to think about the fact that there's a dead spider in my washing. I'm going to just try not to think about that and... And I hope that um, it will just go away and somebody else will come and sort of wash it out for me. Look at the fluffy bucks eating their own food for once. So, as it turns out, there was only a spider leg left in the washing, but I had to wait for my husband to come home and take it all out because I wouldn't go in there. Um, <laughs> so that's all right now. Hopefully I don't put my legs in so I can find like the rest of the spider carcass in it. That was awful. Um... Yeah, today's been a really good day. Therapy was great. Um, I've had some movies from my daughter. She's having a nice time. Um, yeah, I'm just, I've had a really good day today and I feel really good. So that's good. I can't stop saying good today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, tomorrow is going to be even more good because um, I'm going uptown. I just knocked some. <laughs> my baking tray just fell over on my draining board um i'm going uptown so we're going on a train ride tomorrow and i'm staying overnight so that's going to be really really fun i'm so excited so i'm doing that and then the following day i'm going to go see my mum so that'll be really good so we've got a couple of days out to go it's going to be weird not being at home tomorrow but that's all right it's only one night i'll survive and um i'm gonna go see you on the next one <laughs>